All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about the BioVox effect. This was inspired by Articulary Synthesis. It offers tools for altering the physiological qualities of a vocal. The module estimates the vocal tract shape, and it allows you to effectively manipulate the vocal tract length and shape using just a few controls. So it's right here. It's the first one in the line of vocal effects. We turn it on, turn it off right here. And let's go ahead and play the vocal dry for a second. And I can barely see. So that's what it sounds like. And now if I turn it wet and just run clarity here on the BioVox, and again, we're gonna go ahead and leave the level at 100%. And I can barely see. And clarity is gonna be like how many points it has to work with. So if I turn this down, we can expect a glitchier, raspier sound. And I can barely see. So you can see there's like less sample points, it sounds like. Here is the shift level, which is how we can get a higher pitch tone or a lower pitch tone. And this is kind of the vocal tract length. And I can barely see where the light goes under. So we can get kind of those low pitched vocals or the higher pitched vocals. Nasally is gonna kind of make you sound like you have a cold. And I can barely see <laughs> and breath is going to make you sound like you're having just more breath sounds added to your vocal. And I can barely see while the light goes under, waiting for a wonder. All right. And if we click right here, we get the advanced menu. And the light goes under. You can see here that we can move it around and get the different vowel filters. We also have the ability to add a second oscillator. So right now we have one oscillator turned up all the way. It's the same pitch. And then we go modulating it with this LFO. And we can also adjust the shape. So we're getting some really crazy effects there. Uh, double click any of these parameters to put them back at their starting points. Pitch, you just gotta click and drag up and down. You can go up an octave, a fifth, a seventh, and you also have your fine control right here. Now we can also add a second oscillator. Let's do that. We can't really hear a difference there because, well, they're the same octave. I'm gonna double click this and put it back to where it was. And I'm gonna actually get click and drag down negative 12. This is a full octave down. And I can barely see while the light goes under, waiting for a wonder. So you can see here, now we're getting some really crazy effects. And if we want to, we could go plus 12 here and then turn down the level. And I can barely see. In fact, not the level. Let's come out and turn the mix knob down or the mix slider. And I can barely see while the light goes under. So now we have a essentially backup vocals, one octave above and one octave below. And if we want to come into a noise generator, it's easy enough. And I can barely see. And we can control. And I can barely see. In fact, let me come out and put it 100% wet so we can get a better understanding. And I can barely see. While the light goes under, waiting for a wonder. And I can barely see. And then over here we have a pan knob. And I can barely see. And a simple low pass, high pass filter. And I can barely see. While the light goes under. So we can get some really cool effects just with that BioVox one. That was a quick look at it. Let's move on to the next video where we check out the vocoder effect.